We are in 2025 and I'm pretty sure that as of now, everyone knows, everyone in the gaming community knows that OptiScaler is one of the best free features that we can get in any gaming scenario. Especially if you want to play a game that doesn't support the latest version of the LSS, XSS or FSR. And even if the game doesn't support XSS or FSR and it does support the LSS for example, you can go and inject FSR or XSS inside the game that doesn't really have that option for free. This is like common sense. But there were still some games that didn't work properly with OptiScaler, some games like Dying Light 2, Alan Wake 2 that, well, they either worked but not with FSR 4, for example, they worked with XSS, but you needed some extra steps here and there. But now, with this huge update that brings many things like FSR 4 models and design changes, in games like Dying Light 2 and Alan Wake, you just have to go copy-paste and it works. Everything just works. Everything just works. Well, the first thing you have to do is go to Google and search for OptiScaler. You have OptiScaler Bridges, you click on it, then you go to the releases and you have the version 0.7.7 Pre-9. And this is the latest official, but this is not the one that you want. We need to go here, plus 17 releases, go to the nightly builds, and on the nightly builds, you have this one, the, the latest version, which is the version 0.7.7 Pre-12, something, something, something. And this is the one that brings lots of new things. And starting with fixes since initial nightly upload, we'd improved anisotropy or anisoto anisotro anisotropy filtering, whatever, and MIP map LOD bias overrides, improvements and fixes to the spoofing, thanks to fake Michao, fix the Nakam's mod regressions again, always prefer the model 1 for FSR4 quality, meaning that again, we now have FSR4 models, the same way that we have the LSS models with the model K, model etc, etc, now we also have FSR models, uh, should improve shimmering slash instability on FSR4 quality preset in certain games, I mean, Stalker might be one of those, fix the double uninstaller batch files creation, add a just FPS option to performance overlay and again, OptiScaler is so easy to use nowadays that it is kind of indispensable for almost every user. And now we have new and improved major features in the 0.7.7 Pre-12. Fixed unsupported typeless texture formats for FSR 4, now all previously crashing games should work and this is what I told you before, games like Alan Wake, Dying Light, uh, for example Dying Light I never had it working before and now it just basically works kind of just copy paste and it works. Added FSR model selection, again, a great thing. Unreal Engine XSS input should now be supported for FSR 4. And this is a great thing because in games like Claire Obscure Expedition 33 or Expedition 33, whatever, you couldn't really use XSS inputs for, uh, for FSR, at least in most case scenarios. You would just have a black screen and it seems that it is now fixed. We also have added support for loading ASI files from the plugins folder, improved stability and compatibility of hotfix, and there are many other things in the release notes, but you can read them with a link in the description. The same way that you have many great deals with this sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and for all of these you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So you go to the nightly builds, you download it, you will have this file on your desktop, if you select to download to the desktop of course, then all you have to do is let's say that you want to put it in, yeah, in Dying Light 2, all you have to do is go to the games, Steam apps, common, you go to the Dying Light 2 folder, then I believe it's ph, work, bin, x64 exactly, where the exe file is, you just go open up the scaler, copy all these files to this same folder, then you go here to the setup windows, more info, run anyway, and then you just have to select the number one, the XGI, if you want to, then in this case I'm using the, the 96 XT, so it is AMD slash Intel, 
then you want to try the LSS inputs. Now, in, in a case where a game, for example, has FSR 3 or FSR 3.1, you don't really need to, to use the LSS inputs. You can even use XESS inputs, which are usually better, especially compared to the older FSR versions. But if you really want to test a game that doesn't really support FSR 3, like Dying Light 2, you need to select the LSS inputs. So one, yes, and okay. And it is installed. It is this simple. Now, as we run into the game, I'm using I'm using ultra ray tracing. I'm using 4K with the maximum ray tracing options. And this is why you see what you see, 18 FPS. For you to go into, into OptiScaler, you actually need to press the insert button, insert for uh, going in and insert for going out. Let's start by going to any other upscaling, like for example, the L or FSR2, FSR2 performance. So we're running 4K, it is normal to use the performance mode. As soon as we go to the performance mode, we get much better performance, now 50 FPS, which is great to be honest, but for example, if you look at the, the quality, if you look at the foliage, it is full of, of pixelation, it just doesn't look good, for example, the, um, the zombies moving have a lot, a lot of ghosting here, it just looks so, so bad that it hurts. And it looks especially bad since we're using ray tracing needs even, an even better denoiser, so it just looks really, really bad. What we can do immediately is if you press insert, you see that the, the OptiScaler isn't actually detecting FSR because the FSR version is very old. So what you do is what we selected here and you go to the LSS, or in this case the LSS performance, my bad. And now as you can see, the performance is a bit lower, so from 50 to 45 FPS, but the quality has vastly improved. And by the way, we're not using FSR4. As soon as you click, as you click insert, sorry, um, the upscaler is XCSS. And by the way, I found that OptiScaler does have some issues here and mouse doesn't really function properly, not even in the game menu. So you need to use the, the keyboard. But after you use the keyboard, it will work. So XCSS, we go to FSR 3.X, and change upscaler. This is another thing that is now changed and I really like it, change upscaler. As soon as you go to change upscaler, it will immediately uh, enable FSR 4.0.1. And as you can see, even using the performance mode, it is much better than XCSS was while having one FPS more. I believe that XCSS delivered like 45 or 46. With FSR 4, we have 46, 47, so one FPS more. And at the same time, the quality is better than XCSS and much, much better than we have. Uh, than, than whatever we had with FSR2, just much, much better. Even with lower FPS numbers, it is just so, so much better. It's not even comparable, I mean, it's like day and night. And as soon as we take ray tracing off, we go up from 47 to 71 with the same FSR4 upscaling, 4.0.1 actually, which is a bit heavier than 4.0.0, but also a bit better. And remember what I told you about the models, now you can select the models again. Let's go here with the keyboard. Here, the models, we have model 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and different models might actually help in different scenarios. The best model, in theory, is the model 1, which is the default, and in some case scenarios, model, model 0 can be better, model 3 can be better, model 5 can be better. In scenarios like, for example, Silent Hill 2, where we still have the leaves kind of ghosting, even with FSR 4.0.1, changing the models might actually change the outcome as well. So it is exac exactly the same as it was with uh, the LSS, but I suppose that it should be using default or model 1. Oh, my bad, in this case scenario, the current model is the model 3, so... It is odd, but we should be using Model 1, and it seems to be the best one. And by the way, OptiScaler's developer told us that uh, the Model 1 was the best one, but again, it, w it was for FSR4 quality, and it, it is my mistake because we were using FSR4 performance mode, and in performance mode, maybe the best model is indeed the Model 3, while in quality mode, the best model is the Model 1. And now remember what we had before, so this is FSR4, which looks decently well actually, if you look at it, looks decently well. Now let's try the FSR2 that we have inside the game, which is a pile of crap. So FSR2 performance, OptiScaler will get disabled, and now we have 83 FPS, so we have considerably better performance, but at the same time as we look at, at the characters, uh, even with ray tracing, it is much worse, of course, but even without ray tracing, we have lots and lots of issues around the characters, around the, um, yeah, 
Look at that pixelation, that's insane. The quality is so bad it hurts. Here is the same, here is the same. Yeah, really, really bad, Jesus. As soon as we go back to the LSS performance, which is basically FSR, OptiScaler will start, will start working again. As you can see, FSR 4.0.1. The pixelation is basically gone, or almost non-existent even in this game, and the clarity of the image is just miles, miles ahead of what it was. I mean, it's FSR 2 versus FSR 4. Even if you look at those zombies far away, you can see that the quality is much higher. We have much more clarity, and we also have much more definition. So it's a win-win in most case scenarios, definitely. And I'm pretty sure that the ultra performance mode here is still looking better than whatever we had in the performance mode with uh, with the FSR2. It's just much better. Even XCSS in this game, and I updated the game to the version 2, it isn't near as good as FSR4. Just no chance. We're using performance mode here with a, with a low tier card. Oh, and you're gone. And it is just so much better quality-wise. Yeah, the clarity, especially the clarity that FSR4 adds is just so much better. I don't know why the guy doesn't do, doesn't do the drop kick. Oh, finally. And now it fails. So as you can see, yeah, it is now working in Dying Light 2 and definitely improves the experience of the game for, for AMD RX 9000 series users and even the RX and even the RX 7000 series users. Even if you don't really want to use FSR 4, you can still use FSR 3. You just go to the OptiScaler options. You just go to the OptiScaler options, select 3.1.4 instead of 4, in case you don't really have the 4, in case you don't have FSR 4, of course. And just go change upscaler, and it will immediately go into FSR 3.1.4, which, by the way, is much, much better than FSR than FSR 2. Just, oh, my bad. Just so much better, believe me. It isn't near as good as FSR 4. FSR 4 is much better, for sure. But compared to FSR 2, especially the performance mode, FSR 3.1 is much better. We have a little bit of shimmering here and there but definitely, definitely much, much better. Let me just show you a practical example. If you look at there, or if we move a little, you can see that we have a bit of shimmering here and there, especially there on the left, we have a lot of shimmering. As soon as we go to FSR 4, as soon as we go to FSR 4, change up scaler, we have way better clarity and the shimmering just went away. So basically no more shimmering, we still have a little on the left, but very, very few. And in terms of quality, the, the improvement is just insane. The clarity is just so, so much better. And sometimes it is really hard to show it on video because of YouTube's compression. Firstly, the video compression, then YouTube's compression. But seeing it live, it is a huge difference. Going from 3.1.4 to 4.0.1 is a big difference in terms of clarity and it is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. But well, let's test another game that wasn't working before, Alan Wake. You just go to, to your Alan Wake game folder, in this case I believe it's Epic Games, yes, I haven't used this computer for quite a while, Alan Wake 2, and then in this case Alan Wake is just the main folder. So again, OptiScaler, copy the files, set up Windows, more info, run anyway, DXGI, AMD, Intel, and in this case, the game is also using FSR2, which is a big bummer. So we do have to use the LSS inputs, yes. And it's done. Now with Alan Wake 2, you might have some issues and the game sometimes restarts and then goes again and then restarts and then goes again and yeah, and the game now runs. In my computer, usually the game just doesn't run, then it kind of it kind of quits automatically or alone, then I have to go inside the game. And one of the bugs of using OptiScaler here is that you can't see the mouse. You can see the mouse where when you're using OptiScaler, but now you can't see the mouse while running around the, the menus, which is kind of a bummer. And in this case, we're running the normal FSR2 implementation, as you can see, or I guess you can't, so let me just show you. Display resolution 4K, render resolution 1080p, which is performance mode, and we're using the, the native FSR2 implementation with maximum settings without any kind of ray tracing. And in the performance mode, it's FSR2 after all, so as soon as you look, for example, for the Windows or for that, that sound speaker, 
you can see that we have lots of shimmering and the quality just isn't good, even without any kind of ray tracing. We select the LSS instead of FSR2 and immediately, and I'm literally telling you, immediately, as you can see, the shimmering goes away. And I guess we're using XCSS, we're not even using, we're not even using uh, FSR4, so we're just using XCSS and the difference is crazy. As soon as we go to FSR, it will automatically enable FSR4, by the way, and it's even better. I mean, the difference is just there. If we use XSS, if you look at the speakers, you see that the quality is much better than FSR2, but we still have a bit of shimmering and it kind of lacks clarity. But as soon as we enable FSR4, it is much clearer. The shimmering just goes away. Even these lines here in the background just work much better. Everything is sharp and clear. For example, let's go to FSR 3.1.4. And if you look at FSR 3.1.4, it is still a mess. In this game, it is still a mess. Maybe a bit better than FSR 2, maybe a bit worse, but it is definitely a mess. And XCSS is much better in this scenario. But as soon as you enable FSR 4, bam, everything just looks the way it should look. No shimmering, no nothing, just nothing. And again, it's using Model 3, I don't really know why. In my 1970 XT, it was using the Model 1, but it seems it, it is now using Model 3. So Model 1, Model 3, I don't really see any difference in terms of shimmering, I guess. Hmm. Model 1 seems to have better lining than Model 3, but it might be kind of a placebo effect. Yeah, and Model 3 is kind of more stable, but at the same time it has a bit more shimmering. But yeah, I guess that the current model selected to 3 is actually the best option. Look at, look at Saga's hair, passing there. We have a little bit of ghosting, of course. It is there, with the model 3. Not that much, but it is definitely there. But as soon as we go to the model 1, the ghosting gets worse. Look at Saga's hair. Her just moving, we have more ghosting. And as soon as we go there, it's even more noticeable. Interesting. But yeah. Basically, if you go to default, we have the Model 3, which seems to be the best one in this case scenario. So yeah, I mean, compared to FSR 2, we can use FSR 3.1.4, or we can use FSR 4, that generally is much better, delivers better quality, and as you saw, it is as simple as it can be. You just have to go there, copy the files, install OptiScaler, then go on inside the game, press Insert, change your settings, and you're good to go. I mean, it is so easy, so easy easy nowadays that uh, you're actually losing the quality of the game if you're not using OptiScaler in a game that does not support FSR 4 or the latest version of FSR 3.1. Definitely. I mean, with FSR 4, even using the ultra performance settings is better than using the normal ones with FSR 2. I mean, performance mode with FSR 2 is worse than the ultra performance with FSR 4. I mean, you can just look at the... Yeah, at there. I don't really know how it's... We call it persianas in Portuguese, but yeah, the, the clarity, the quality, the detail in ultra performance upscaling from 720p is better with FSR 4 than 1080p upscaled to 4K with FSR 2, just so much better, and at the same time, we have better FPS. And well guys, hope you enjoyed the video, this was all for today, and remember, use OptiScaler. OptiScaler is one of those tools that we need constantly nowadays, it's easy to use, it's getting better and better, and it now just got updated. Those games that didn't work before, most of them now do, and it's as easy as just copy-paste and done. Thank you very much for watching, thank you OptiScaler developers and contributors, and see you guys in the next video. Cheers!